Baker Mayfield Jr. the third met with the Cleveland Browns media, and it didn't go well. It sounded like this. Block field goal at the end of the first half. It seemed like there was a lack of urgency there. There was something going on. There was a penalty, so we were negative yardage. Well, there was a lot of time between snaps. Uh, well, when the penalty happened, then we're behind the chains. No, 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 stop saying but. I just told you the clock was running and we had a penalty. Do you want to give them the ball back? No, you don't play. You don't know it. That's just plain and simple. Was I happy with the drive? No, we didn't score points. It's the dumbest question you could ask. What? Jesus, Tony. All right, so that's Baker Mayfield then walking out of the press conference. Um, the veteran Cleveland sports writer, Tony Grossi, said that uh, he wasn't trying to pick a fight with Baker Mayfield. These two don't like each other, or Baker certainly doesn't like him. And it goes back to when Mayfield was demanding first-class airfare, according to uh, Tony Grossi, uh, when he was making his pre-draft visit, suggested that maybe Mayfield was a prima donna, uh, something people close to Baker Mayfield took issue with. Uh, Grossi said uh, that uh, yesterday Mayfield's issue with him stems from that. So no matter what he asked, I mean, they weren't good questions that he asked. If, if he said, are you, uh, you know, happy with how the drive ended up or something? He's like, no, we didn't score a point. Like th- that, that is not a smart question. If you want to ask about clock management, okay, I'm fine with that. But you know, Baker doesn't have to belittle him. These guys, Cleveland is ruining Cleveland. They have no discipline on the field and off the field. When when you win, this is all cool. But when you don't, that's when they smell blood. They see blood. They're coming after you. They want you to be agitated. You can't have all these false start. Like, you just can't be this undisciplined. And you get into a press conference, you can just answer a question. You don't have to tell me that I never played this sport, okay? I mean, I, how many of us who are in the media played this sport at a high level? Very few. I mean, that, but that's fine. Don't use that. You know? don't, don't use that as an excuse. Just answer the question. Avoid the question. Just get the hell out of there. Stop creating more hurdles here. You got a coach who is over his head. You got a quarterback who's over his head right now. You got a star receiver who is not able to be a star. You got a defensive player who should be up for defensive player of the year. And here you are. You got two damn wins. You shouldn't be saying anything about anybody. No, this reporter hasn't played the game. But the way you guys are playing, you guys act like you haven't played the game. <laughs> so it feels like this happens too often. And the Browns, for a team that's so undisciplined, they got to find some discipline. And it's got to start somewhere with somebody. I just don't like to see Baker Mayfield involved in this. It's hard enough to play that position. It really is. And I, I don't want to see... He's adding more baggage here. He's adding more drama. He's adding more questions. Oh, is he capable of handling being a friend, you know, being the franchise uh, guy? Is, you know, I, I don't want him to be labeled like that. He was a great story. This hasn't been a great story. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.